Year one of the Mike Elko era in College Station is set to begin this fall. What's the most important game for the Texas A&M Aggies in the 2024 season? Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn notifications, check us out via podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us across all social media platforms as well as our website, secunfiltered.com. We're brought to you by our friends over at Prize Picks. Guys, download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com. When you do, use promo code SECU for a first deposit match of up to $100. Again, that's our friends over at Prize Picks, promo code SECU to get your first deposit match today. Year one of the Mike Elko era at Texas A&M is just around the corner. And just because it's a year one, does not mean the expectations are not high. Everywhere from fans to the Vegas over-under win total, which I believe is set at eight and a half now, the hopes are sky high, man. There's no grace period here when it comes to a brand new head coach. But when you look at that roster, you look at the talent they return. And also, guys, one of the friendliest schedules in the SEC. No such thing as an easy schedule in SEC play. but. There are some that are more manageable than others. And I would say that Mike Elko with Texas A&M got a pretty favorable draw in his first season ever in College Station. But guys, what's the most important game for Mike Elko? What's the most important game for this Texas A&M football team going into this season, guys? As we pull up the schedule, there's a number of different options here, right? You you come out of the gate, guns a-blazing against Notre Dame at Kyle Field. College game day is going to be there. You could you could talk me into this one. You could talk me into the Notre Dame game because it's going to be the tone setter, set the tone for year one of Mike Elko. You got a top 10, I believe, Notre Dame team going to be rolling into town, going to be an electric atmosphere there at Kyle Field. So that's a big one. A couple weeks later, your SEC opener at Florida. That's one where I think, again, you win that ball game. And I've already labeled that Florida's most important game. So it's going to be a pivotal game for both sides. You win that one, start off 1-0 and in SEC play, win the first SEC game of the Mike Elko era. Uh, a couple weeks later, guys, I know you've had your, your way with them. You've got their number. That game against Arkansas is always big. The Missouri game, right, they come to Kyle Field. That's huge as well. You know, you got the LSU game later. At South Carolina could be tricky. Uh, at Auburn could be tricky late in the season. And, of course, guys, there's the rivalry matchup late in the season, the last week of the regular season <clears throat> against the Texas Longhorns. So there's a number of different games here, guys. But And I went back and forth in a couple, but what I really looked at is this. This is just not your typical year one. Like I, I feel like in a year one, for most coaches, you look at the game that's like, okay, you know what's going to get these guys to bowl eligibility? What's going to get them to a nice season, a solid year one? Talking to Aggies, talking to the 12th man, talking to folks around college football that cover this thing for a living. Guys, six and six or seven and five ain't going to be good enough. Like, that's literally what got Jimbo Fisher fired. So I don't think going that in year one, as much as I've preached, guys, all offseason, I've been someone that said, hey, why can't we just take a moment to set conservative expectations for Texas A&M and allow them to overachieve. I, I don't know why we cannot allow ourselves to do that. Texas A&M is just like that last cigarette. Like, you, you just, you can't help yourself. You know what I mean? It's it just, I don't know why we can't do it, but it is what it is. Over, under, in Vegas, set at eight and a half. They don't build those, they don't build those mansions off winner's money, so they know something we probably don't. And for what it's worth, there's a lot of talent on the roster. Connor Wegman returns, and again, you look at this schedule, a lot of opportunity here. Your toughest games essentially are at home. Notre Dame's at Kyle Field. You got Arkansas. That one's in Jerry World, but again, you've had the Hogs number. Mizzou's at home. LSU's at home. Texas is at home. I mean, your toughest games, guys, come at Kyle Field. And then again, the road matchups at Florida, what are they going to be? If you want to call Arkansas one, what's Arkansas going to be, right? At Mississippi State, you're one of a new head coach. At South Carolina, went 5-7 and seven last year. And then at Auburn, again, tricky. Jordan Hare, tough place to play, but it's not like you're playing Bama at their place. You're playing Auburn, all due respect. So, when you look at this schedule, year one of Mike Elko, what is the most important game here? 
And I went to the game, guys, that I think I looked more so like what's the game that could serve as Mike Elko's signature win in year one, right? What's the game that, because again, we're not just trying to get to seven and five or eight and four. Like we're trying to get to nine or 10 wins. We're trying to low key compete for a college football playoff in year one of Mike Elko. And if we don't make a college football playoff, getting again to a minimum eight, nine wins and having that signature win that shows, hey, this is going to be different. This tenure is going to be different. Things are different now with Mike Elko at the helm. There's a couple different options on this schedule, guys. Funny enough, I called the Texas A&M game for Florida. Florida's most important game. I look at that game at Mizzou. That one certainly you could justify because I think that will be the opportunity for Texas A&M. You know, up until that point, they really won't have played, unless Florida or Arkansas is way better than we think they're going to be. And I know Notre Dame. So Notre Dame's a big one, too. You beat Notre Dame, I guess this this point is moot. But what I was going to say is, Missouri, I think, will probably be the best team you've played to that point. And I think Missouri is going to be a great gauge of, okay, like, how far along are you really? Like, how good is Texas A&M really? But, guys, my most important game for Texas A&M, it comes a few weeks later. And admittedly, over the last couple weeks, guys, I've learned a lot about the Texas A&M LSU rivalry. I'll be honest with you. I did not know there was as much hatred as there is between Texas A&M and LSU. Folks, it's nasty. I mean, it's it's pure hatred. Hatred between these two. And normally, we got this game in the last week of the season. But of course, Texas and Oklahoma come to the league. We're getting A&M-Texas in that finale. And some of you are going to say that, hey, Texas is the most important game. I get it from the rivalry standpoint. I I understand why you say that. I get why it's so important for Texas A&M to beat Texas. That game to me is bigger for Texas than Texas A&M. Texas A&M, I think you're playing with house money. I know it's at Kyle Field with what Texas is going to be this year. They're going to be favored to win. Again, if you win, it's a bonus. I don't think it's the make or break for your season. Obviously, be huge, not the make or break for your season. The game against LSU for me, guys. The game against LSU. Because I think, too, if you win the game against LSU, it can set you up. You know, you're probably going to win the week before at Mississippi State. If you beat LSU, there's a good chance you're on at minimum, at minimum, a five-game winning streak going in that game against Texas. You think that game's big now? Let A&M go in that game nine and two college football playoff implications on the line. Let them go in 10 and one. You know what I mean? Like you think that game's big now. So what a win over LSU could do guys. I think that LSU game is the most important game of Texas A&M schedule because that's a game again, night game atmosphere at Kyle field. That's a game for me guys. I think if you're going to have a successful season, I think if Aggies, if you're going to get to like that nine and three mark, let's say, right. Or maybe you scratch 10 and two. LSU is a game at home that I think A&M expects to win. I think they want to win, but I think A&M expects to win on the home field, at night, at Kyle Field. And I think that's one, if Mike Elko can get that one in year one, hated rivalry, he can get that one in year one, I think it's going to serve as a huge shot in the arm to this program. Because again, and you're like, man, you're saying that year one, you need a shot in the arm. This is not your typical year one, guys. Over-unders, eight and a half. The expectations are through the roof. You're going to have people at media days picking Texas A&M to, you know, finish top five in the SEC, probably win 10 games. It's going to happen. So, to not just get started off on the right foot, but to kick the door down and announce, hey, this is different. The Mike Elko era is going to be Texas a and finally going to live up to all of their hype. Winning a game like that LSU game, I think, is so pivotal. It's so crucial. And that LSU game, the most important game for me, guys, because I think it can serve as the signature win a year one of Mike Elko. Beating Texas would be huge, but I look at that as more of a bonus in year one. If you can take down LSU, night game at Kyle Field, and sort of show the 12th man, hey, this is going to be different. Here's proof on the field. Beating LSU can go a long way in laying the foundation and establishing that new Texas A&M has arrived. So, guys, when I look at Texas A&M's schedule, my most important game, that game against LSU, 
What would you say? Would you agree? Would you disagree? Is it the game against LSU? Is it Texas? Is it Mizzou? Is it one of the other games on this slate? What would you deem the most important game of year one of the Mike Elko era? Guys, that's going to do off me. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn notifications. Check us out via podcast wherever you get your podcast. You can also find us across all social media platforms as well as our website, secunfiltered.com. Until next time, guys, I'm Chris Fiddles of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in, and we'll catch you on the other side. 